Well, it looks like our USA road trip might be coming to a close relatively soon, except, you know, there's still multiple other difficulties we haven't played yet. So, uh, well, the only character we haven't been yet has been Minnie, so let's give her for a spin, shall we? Isn't it wonderful? No, I don't think it will be Minnie, actually. Mini, I think, is stat-wise identical to Daisy. So, yeah. Done traffic troubles, motorway mania, freeway phobia, and victory vehicles. We're now on the frantic finale. I have a feeling that Minnie Mouse is not going to be able to do this, but we'll just have to wait and see now, won't we? We'll try it on professional, why not? Here we go, folks. This last cup is very nasty. Very dangerous, very difficult. Let's, let's see what we got in store. Oh boy. It looks like we've received a postcard from the weasels. What are they doing now? Aloha from Hawaii. <laughs> Again, guys, like, stop dragging Pluto all over the place. Even Pluto's not, like, he's just mad now. He's like, come on, just take the dog collar off. Good lord. <laughs> is the dog collar glued to Pluto's neck? Anyways, yeah, first level is Hawaii. All right. So Hawaii's difficult because uh, there's a lot of coconuts and stuff on the floor that it's very easy to run into. And a lot of off-road. So if you're playing as Goofy, good luck. All right. Magnum Flyer, out of the way, Goofy. Is Daisy in first, or is that Donald? Daisy's in first? This is a first. Oh, Donald is not doing great. Uh-oh. That's all right. Well, Minnie, I mean, she controls really nice. And she doesn't slow down when she goes off-road. She's just not very fast. I'm not sure why Daisy has that big of a lead, since she should be as fast as I am, but oh well. Okay, that was very weird. Coconuts have giant hitboxes, man! What are we doing? Move it, Pete. <laughs> I'm in first place! Oh, Pete, Pete's doing real bad. That makes sense. Pete and Goofy really have a hard time on this course. Oh, why is that baseball going towards me? I fully expect to lose on the frantic finale because it's actually no joke. There we go. It's like Koopa Troopa Beach, but really difficult. This ain't right. <laughs> this ain't right. Pete can't win six. <laughs> well, sorry, Pete. Them's the breaks, I guess. Literally, but um. Tsh. All right, we won third place. Mickey and Daisy are our main competition. It seems. There once. All right. Well, that's Hawaii. We're off to course number two. Oregon. And this course is pretty difficult, actually. There's one part of this course in particular that's very nasty. What a great race, because I have max AI this time. Yeah, come on, Daisy. Nobody really seems to have special dialogue for Minnie. Oh, yep, this is the part. Thanks, Dewey. I'm in first place! Shut up, Daisy. Yeah, literally no edges on that bridge. It's narrow and windy. So easy to fall off. Stormy weather! Looks like Minnie's gonna make it rain now. A spritzer is not going to help me all that much on Oregon. Also, why is Oregon just like a jungle? 
I'm pretty sure the real organ is not like this. Right. Well, as far we haven't fallen off once we've gotten on the bridge. But we're just so far behind now. It's like an alternate version of Greenwood Village from Diddy Kong Racing, almost. Goofy? Goofy! Oh, that's not good. We're not gonna rank. No oh, shucks. Shut up, Goofy. Wow, who left the baseball in front of the finish line? All right, well, that went about as well as I expected. Great. Minnie did not have a good time in Oregon, so we'll have to try again. Let's -a go. <laughs> oh, but if we can hit Daisy this early. Oh wow, Mickey's not even mad that we just knocked him in there. He's just like, "Wow, Minnie, you're doing great." If that's not patronizing, I don't know what is. Well, that was weird. Not sure why that happened. This course is so difficult, man! And the weird thing is, this isn't even the toughest course in the game. Remember, this is only the second course on the frantic finale. I still don't know what the oomph tokens even do, but I mean, might as well pick them up. Oh, I'm not using the shield on the bridge. Okay, that didn't look like I even fell off. It looked. Also, I'm pretty sure your opponents never, ever fall off the bridge. Unless you physically push them off, they will never fall off. So, yeah, good luck. I don't need invincibilities, really. I mean, even Stormy Weber isn't going to help me win at this point. Donald already won. You, you can't go through that part with the shield. You would have to break. And the fact, the bridge is at the very end of the course, too, man. I could do much better. Well, I mean, we've are, we're already lost. Even though we get an extra retry, there's no way we're doing this course and the two after this on one try. Especially since we're already in third place overall. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're just jealous. That's right. Shut up, Donald. Nobody asked you. It feels like if you do one misdrive, your whole race is over. Like, how the heck did Pete get through the bridge section without falling? How? Oh, great. Now the fastest guys are all in the lead, so we just can't catch them. Yeah, well, Minnie's just not fast enough. I'm not even racing badly. I'm doing this, like, as perfectly as you can do, pretty much, and they're still... Not only am I not catching them, they're getting a bigger lead. Wow. Thanks, Magnum Flyer. So yeah, Minnie and Daisy are not worth it. Yeah, look at that. Like, they're all moving as one dot, and you can't catch them. I think I only made two goof-ups that entire race, and they were very minor. 
and I just could not catch them. Well, looks like we can't really use Minnie or Daisy. You failed to qualify. Game over. Thanks, game. And the worst part is, uh, you know what? Hey, folks, we'll try Pete again. No one could let go already. Let's go already. I'll show you guys what how problematic it's gonna be if we use Pete in the frantic finale. I have a feeling we're not even gonna get through Hawaii. There's so much off-road in Hawaii, and if you touch off-road as Pete, you're you're screwed. Alright, so far so good. But then we get around to this part, and like, well, yeah, good luck getting across these turns. And of course, you got the coconuts, too. Get back here, Daisy. Stupid Donald! How could you? Oh, thanks for the boost, though. Look at that. Well, yeah, if you touch the coconut, you're dead. <laughs> you're not rec You'll never financially recover from this. Apparently, that doesn't count as off-road. You can't boost for the water. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ah, that's about what I expected to happen, as plain as Pete in Hawaii. I'm not going to Hawaii on vacation anytime soon. Oh yeah, and in the blink of an eye, they have, they're half a, half a lap ahead. Forget about it! I'm not winning this one! Yeah, we're, uh, we're not playing as Pete. I think Frantic Finale's out of our reach for now. Perhaps we need to go on an easier difficulty. What do you know? It'll be fun. It'll be fun. You know what? Let's go back to the other courses. I want to see if we go all the way back to amateur. Because there actually is stuff you don't unlock unless you play on the earlier difficulties. So I want to see just how bad these early cups are. Oh, yeah. That's that's pretty slow. Yeah, that's pretty slow. But there actually are four unlockable characters in the game. We haven't unlocked any of them. And two of them I believe you need to play on amateur and then intermediate difficulties. Oh yeah, look at this. We got a way bigger lead. This is like going from 200cc to 50cc. Or more like 150cc to 50cc. Oh man, that's very, very slow. Well, what do you know? Goofy, you're, you're gonna be winning first on like all of these. So I think for this one, I'm just going to show the highlights of this cup. Actually, I'm going to probably do the earlier difficulties for all of the cups. I'll try to record doing this, and I'll just show you guys the highlights. Or lowlights. Otherwise, I'll just skip to when we actually unlock stuff. Because I don't think anybody wants to watch a more boring version of what they've already watched. Oh, we just beat the first cup on the earliest difficulty. Congratulations, you've won a race series. Win them all at this difficulty. Then try the harder levels. The weasels await you on professional. Oh, I probably should have <laughs> shown that before just jumping right into professional mode, but ah oh well. All right, I'm gonna see if Daisy's and Minnie are as bad on the earliest difficulties. Okay, it definitely looks like I have less of a big lead playing as Daisy. But it still seems like everybody else, even the characters who have a higher speed stat, are slower than I am on this difficulty, so... 
I guess the characters of better turning are better to use on the early difficulties, and the ones of higher speed you kind of have to use on the higher difficulties. Oh, we just beat the first three cups on amateur. Dewey joins the race. Hey, I want to race too! All right. Will do, Dewey. Secret feature open. Nice work! You have unlocked a secret feature. To find out what it is, go to the options page and select cheats. Nice, all right. I like how we unlocked Dewey before Huey. But here we go. Yeah, Minnie just won the third of the cups. And again, the first three cups were all exceptionally boring on amateur mode. So I don't think I'll have any footage to show off, but there we go. Yay! Good job, Minnie Mouse. And yes, literally like Goofy and Pete are always in the top three. I don't know why. Oh wait, yes I do, because they're fast. Daisy is never the main competition, except on that one time I tried the frantic finale. All right, so we now have an unlockable character. It's Dewey. So Dewey has the same top speed that Minnie and Daisy have, but he has even better acceleration. So, yeah. He has better acceleration and that's it. So he's basically just a slightly better version of Minnie and Daisy. All right. Let's go, Dewey. You know what? We'll show off Frantic Finale on Amateur Mode with Dewey. Let's go to Hawaii! Alright, can we win on the easiest difficulty? Oh, he feels a lot faster. I know his top speed is the same, but... Dewey certainly feels faster than both Minnie and uh, Daisy. And yeah, we're leaving everyone in the dust just because... Okay, well that's not very nice. How about that? I just summoned the coconuts to fall from the tree! Stupid Mickey, you also took my power up. Uh, there's definitely a volcano erupting. Maybe we shouldn't be racing. No, oh, it's not on our island! Spritzers and the invincibility shields are amazing on Hawaii. Because there's a lot of off-road you can cut. Oh, yes. We're holding on to this one. <laughs> what was that? Dash right! Alright. One downside to playing as Dewey is that he doesn't have any inter unique interactions with the other players. If you hit them, they'll just be like, Aw, man! And if he gets hit, he'll just be like, Aw, duck on it! Can we get another spritzer? No. Okay, okay. I guess he has a unique interaction with Donald, which that makes sense, but... Donald did not have a response besides just like, Dah! Oh, wow. Our second lap was slower than our first lap. I guess we got some spritzers on the first lap, but we also hit the coconut. Oh, yeah. Being able to take tight turns is real nice. Stupid coconuts! Oomph token. Oomph token. Let's go! <laughs> I did it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Donald sounds like he wants revenge. 
He was in fifth place, though. Come on, Donald. You gotta do better than that. All right, let's see if Dewey can do a bit better on Oregon than Minnie could. What happened to Goofy? Whoa! Goofy just, like, echoed like crazy. Ah, they're right on my tail. If we fall off the bridge, we are in big trouble. Why do I always get a spritzer right before the bridge section? I'm not using it on the bridge. Unless I reach the end. Okay. This is great. Okay, I feel like Dewey's stats are a bit of a lie. He feels so much faster than Minnie and Daisy did. Because I had just finished playing as both of them in the Amateur Cups. I get tired! Yeah. Again with the spritzer on the bridge! Yeah. Let's go! Get through that, Queen! Boom, bow, boom, bow. How did nobody hit either of my baseballs? They were a barricade. Okay, these log tunnels are just ripped out of Greenwood Village. There we go. Putting a paint splotcher on the bridge is pure evil. So naturally, if you're playing multiplayer, you should do that. Wow! All of my laps were 41 seconds. That's impressive. Well, there we go. We finally beat Oregon. And we got a healthy lead over the second placer. Guess where we're going next, folks? We're going to the biggest state other than Alaska. That's right. We're off to Texas, y'all. Although, despite the size of Texas, this level is actually kind of small. Disappointed. It's not, like, super small, but I expected it to be bigger. Also, Texas is apparently just a rocky wasteland with oil everywhere. Which is just not accurate. We're just driving through an oil rig. The jump you make there is pretty cool, though. Spritzer? Oh, yeah. Jeez, Dewey is cackling like a madman. And Mickey's kicking his AI into overdrive. He's actually threatening now. Oh, yeah. Oh, gee. Move it, Mickey. I don't know how your AI got kicked up this many notches over the course of one race, but I'm not a fan. We're only one second ahead of Mickey. We gotta, we gotta up that. Yeah, Texas is a much easier course compared to Oregon. Like, you can't fall off, but... I feel like the AI is a lot smarter on this course compared to some of the others. How is Mickey on my tail? Take that, Mickey. 
Aw, I'll just have to turn up my AI even more for the final race. Well, there we go. Wow, okay, we got a 17 point lead. Here we are. Time for the hardest course in the game. Rainbow Road's got nothing on this one. You ready? For Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Colorado. This course is nasty. Basically picture Rainbow Road if it had ice physics. Neener, neener. I had to let go of the accelerator right there. And again, this is the easiest difficulty, so imagine how bad this is going to be when you kick it up to professional mode. It's also one of the few courses where the weight stat actually matters. This is one of those courses where, yeah, you probably have to use the brake. Alright. First lap went well. We got all 20 oomph tokens, too, so... That's pretty nice. For those who are wondering how I'm turning that sharply, hold the brake while you're doing the power slide. Trust me, you're going to want to. <laughs> oh, I do love I do love it when they antagonize each other for me. Wow, they even though we've been racing pretty much perfectly on this level, they're still like pretty close behind. <laughs> Move it, Mickey. Okay, I guess I guess Dewey does have personalized lines for a couple of the characters, not all of them, but they don't have any per the other characters don't have personalized dialogue for reacting to him. They're just like, well, what you gonna do? Also, the CPUs will never pick any of the unlockable characters. And if you play as an unlockable character, they will always not have, be, have Pete, basically. Pete will always be excised. Nobody hit either of my baseballs. How did that happen? <laughs> that's okay. 53 to 55 seconds for each lap. That's pretty nice on the easiest difficulty. There we go. Perfect score. Oh my gosh, the second placer only had 10 points? That's ridiculous. That was very spread out. Okay, yeah, Dewey. Dewey's pretty good. <laughs> pretty much all of the unlockable characters are pretty good. I say pretty much, because there are exceptions. I'm Goofy. I won third place somehow. Huh, Mickey. I won second because my AI got cranked way up on Texas. <laughs> I'm Dewey, and I won first because I'm kind of overpowered. <laughs> It's a, it's a good thing the CPUs can't pick the bonus characters. That would be really annoying. 